Hello, are you female? Sure you are. This one's for you. Now that the future is female, I must take this opportunity as a white boy, a white man, a straight white male pig to apologize for oppressing you for all these years. I didn't even know I was doing it, but apparently I was. But here's the thing that I didn't even know about, but every straight white man needs to apologize just like me and I'll do it on behalf of all of them. I'm sorry for being sexist in the most heinous and horrible and disgusting way possible. And that is through Monopoly. <laughs> Fuck! Who would have thought that innocent board game that has been played in front of families open fire for decades is just a creation of the patriarchy to break down women's souls? I hurt my neck. <laughs> but thankfully Hasbro, the creators of Monopoly, have finally released a feminist version. Let's have a little chat about that, shall we? Mr. Monopoly is making way for Ms. Monopoly, apparently, in a big game changer. The new version of the popular board game allows women to make more money than men in a stand against the gender pay gap before the dice is rolled. Female players start out with 400 bucks and they also collect <laughs> extra cash as they pass go in a sign of things to come, Karen. Whoever came out with this woke attempt at advertising, you know this is gonna blow up in your face. Like sure, you get a little bit of news coverage about it, but also everyone thinks you're a fucking idiot. Can I just say, jokes on you Hasbro. When I play board games, I identify as a woman. So you can all go suck my big female cock. How about that? During this feminist version of Monopoly, the women start out with more money than men. Seems a bit rude, particularly if it's two kids playing against each other. How are you going to explain that to a little four-year-old boy and a five-year-old girl? Oh, oh, he gets less money than you because all men are evil pigs. Oh, okay. Well then, for the rest of my life, I must have to hate men. That's what you're doing, feminists. You're creating factions between children. Congratulations. The women collect more money when they passed go. They probably also don't have to spend as much time in jail in Monopoly, just like the real world when they, you know, do the exact same crime as a man, but the man spends more time in jail. But anyway, male privilege, etc. Instead of buying houses like we've done in Monopoly for years, they invest money in inventions that were made by women. That sounds so entertaining. My word. My fucking word. To quote the fucking newspapers, inventions like Wi-Fi and chocolate cookies. Wi-Fi and chocolate cookies. That's what you're putting forward, Hasbro? That is shit. I'm sure there's heaps of other great inventions by women. Don't get me wrong, I can't name them, but I'm sure they exist. But the really good thing about this, I think, is it does highlight, particularly for young women, that that women have been the inventors and entrepreneurs of many things that we couldn't live without. One example being Wi-Fi. I can't, I, I just can't believe it's taken us this long to have Miss Monopoly. I love it, and I'm gonna be buying one for my daughter, for my friends, for my son. For your son. You're gonna buy Miss Monopoly for your son. Can I tell you what? If you buy your son Miss Monopoly, not only will he hate you for the rest of his life, but he will become the king of all soy boys, all right? He'll run around smashing soy lattes and just wearing extremely tight pants. He'll get his bun up the top of his head, pull it back so tight that he will have a similar receding hairline to people like poor old me. But my point being, it doesn't sound like any fun. Like, Little girls may enjoy it, but they don't understand that there is a hidden message behind this. That women need special treatment. That women need a leg up in society because you're never going to be equal to men. That's bullshit. Don't raise your daughter like that. Raise her that she can fucking take on anyone. And sure, there's pieces of shit in the world that she's going to have to avoid and deal with. But that's life. I think if you look around at so many of the technologies that are available today, there are so many brilliant female minds that are behind it. Hasbro launched this campaign with actually a quite a good ad. It's got a terrible downvote ratio on YouTube, but it's actually not a bad ad. Basically what it looks at is these young women who are inventors in their field, or they're coming up with ideas and they're giving them real money. And this Miss Monopoly shit, which I'm sure they'll fucking use. Um, but they're giving them money and they're trying to encourage them to become inventors or businesswomen or leaders in their field, which I think is great. The more women, the more men, the more 
fantastic minds we have at work in our culture is has to be good. There's no doubt about that. But the underlying fact is that they are virtue signaling through their company, which we know from people like Gillette is going to be terrible for their bottom line. And to that, all I have to say in an incredibly articulate and intelligent way. Ha ha, ha ha, ha. And I feel like I need to say this because a large chunk of my audience is women, about 35%. And that's a lot of people, a lot of young women as well. This is a message to you guys. And even if you're a dad or you've got sisters or you think you might have a daughter one day, you can do whatever you want. If you want to be a big, successful businesswoman, you fucking go, girl. Or if you're a boy, you fucking go, man. If you want to be a mum or a dad or a stay-at-home mum or a stay-at-home dad, then fucking do that. Whatever makes you happy at the end of the day. You've got to remember that all these arguments that we have on the news and here, they're very much the vocal minority. They're not real problems in the world. We just make fun of it and blow up about it because it's fun. It takes our minds off the real problems we have. And that's what we're doing, and that's my job, to point at these Miss Monopoly fuckheads and say you're a bunch of fuckheads and eat a large cock that is covered in ants. That's all I have to say to Hasbro. Eat a dick, covered in ants, fuck you. Also, just what is extremely hilarious about all this is in the Miss Monopoly uh, version of the game, one of the little characters that you move around with is still an iron. <laughs> I love casual sexism. Hooray! But unfortunately for the feminists who are really going to enjoy this game, yes, they may start out with more money than the men, but real life is going to take over. And they're not going to play the game for the hours needed to win. Maybe they're going to get pregnant during the game. And then the men will eventually just play for longer and make more money. And then, well, the wage gap will exist again. And then they'll complain. And then Miss Monopoly will be fucking sexist. And then we're back to square one. Because that's just how life works, bitches. But the sad truth about all of this is what Hasbro has forgotten is that the game Monopoly or the patent at the very least in 1906 was invented by a feminist. That woman's name was Lizzie Maggie and she invented that at the turn of the century and yet she gets no mention in this game. So you've dropped the fucking woke ball there you little fuckheads. Could have actually run with a really cool thing and had the inventor of the game involved. But you didn't. And in fact I think this whole thing just needs to be thrown in the fire that your parents have made you sit down next to and play this shit version of Monopoly. In fact, what you should break out is my version. It's called Buttsopoly. And in that version, it's basically just, it's, it's basically the real world, right? So you get, everyone gets the same amount of money and then a guy from the government comes along and takes pretty much half of it and that's called tax and that just fucks off straight away. And then another 7% goes on parking because parking's fucking ridiculous all over this bloody country. And then, you know, about five bucks here, six bucks there, depending on where you go. That goes on lattes. And then there's a little bit of avocado on toast that disappears. It's fucking bullshit. Poached eggs goes out the window. All of a sudden you've got no cash left. And then you go around because you got the shits, you're off your head on pills and your king hits someone, you end up in jail and they punish you by making you listen to Triple J. It's the worst time ever. And the only real positive in the game is you do get hotels and you get to jack off on the sheets and leave them there and treat them like shit. It's a great time. Make sure you buy Buttsopoly. Ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. My dick stinks. And when you podcast is out, make sure you check out down below the link. It is absolutely fantastic. We're currently number one on the podcast charts and we're climbing the podcast charts on Spotify as well. Go and listen. We've got a brand new episode this week. Love yous, love yous, bye.